The live commentary may not abide to this rating. Viewer discretion is advised. This Let's Play of Super Metroid is dedicated to Grant Thompson, aka the King of Random. Ah, uh, what's a great view. Greetings, gamer girls. I am Sal Stain, also known as Coolbox and now welcome back to more Super Metroid. I wasn't doing anything weird. Oh, whatever. In the last episode, we took down Kraid in Brinstar. And in this episode, I'm going to show you some new things we can get now that we have the uh, high jump boots and the speed booster. So we're going to go ahead and do those. I, I got hit on the first enemy, wow. Okay, well, first of all, you might remember something um, thing, uh, we could have gotten before. Uh, but, well, we couldn't have gotten it before by normal means, but... Now we're going to go ahead and get it. Fortunately, we got the annoying space pirates to deal with. And also, this is something that I knew was here, but I kind of forgot to get before. Use uh, a bomb right here. And you can blast to see what's down here, which gets us another missile tank. Uh, it's under where Mother Brain was. It was her secret stash. Um, I have no idea why I forgot to get this before, though. I mean, I knew it was here, but I just forgot to get it. Oh well. I wonder if there's actually a missile tank there in the original Metroid. Anything this way? I don't think there is. Oh, this is actually where it is. Up here, there's an energy tank that we couldn't get before. Also, if I use a bomb here, you can see we have a power bomb symbols here. Uh, this is something that basically what you're going to want to do is you want to use the power bomb then and then shine spark. But unfortunately, to get the item that's there, we're gonna need another. We're gonna need another um, item. So unfortunately, that's gonna get the shaft for now. Don't worry, we'll come back for it later. I think that's all the really. I think that's all we really needed to. Boy, technically, we didn't need, didn't need to do in uh, this part of Brinstar. So I guess we'll uh, walk around a bit more. You don't need, and now you don't need to defeat the space pirates anymore to leave. Leave. Fortunately, this is fortunately this is a really annoying part because you, because you gotta jump up here while avoiding the attacks on the space pirates. I guess while I'm going up here, I gotta um talk about something. Somebody was actually asking me, "Hey Celeste, who's the leader of the uh who is the leader of the space pirates?" They kind they kind of contradict themselves by saying it's Mother Brain, but then saying it's Ridley. Well, like, Ridley is the leader of, like, the pirates themselves, but, like, Mother Brain is the leader, period. Like, Ridley's the leader of the, the troops, but Mother Brain's, like, the mistress mind, pun intended, of just everything. So, yeah, Mother Brain is the leader, but Ridley is, like, more of a general, almost. For free for white, you can get online, go to the general and save some time! Okay. Is there anything else I'm missing? No, I wouldn't imagine. Alright. Run. 
I always like to see if I can open that door so I can speed through here too. And also now that we have the uh, spacer beam, we can actually uh, beat these without missiles. Also, I said I did say something about that statue of Kraid before, but I'm not gonna ignore that for now. We'll see what happens at the end of the at the end of the journey. Now we can uh, get through this. There we go. All right. Now we're doing that. We get this thing. This is a reserve tank. Now it says auto up there. If I look, if I look at my status screen, uh, supply bode one auto. Uh, you can just switch that to manual if you want to. Um, uh, basically a reserve tank. Um, it's empty right now, but if we were to collect, if we were at full energy and we were to collect, uh, um, a hundred more energy, then it would be active. And if we set it as set to automatic, then we, then if we died, then this would bring us back with, uh, a hundred, a hundred energy. There are four of these in the game, so of course we're gonna get them all. But, that is not all. I believe you shoot up there. Yes! You can go up here. There's a ton of enemies. And we finally get another super missile pack. Or t super missile tank, I guess. And we fall through the floor. Alright, now something else we can do. That bomb right here. Power bomb symbol. Pulls the power bomb down. There you go. This is inaccessible. Alright, and we got these things. Wait, just use a power bomb. There you go. And they'll drop power bombs so you don't have to worry. Okay. This part, I want to be a little bit careful. See, there's an energy tank right here. What you want to do is take a running star and then jump. There you go. And I'll explain why in a second. We're just going to go through. Can power bombs blow this up? I'm curious. No, they can't. And in here we have another super missile tank. Now the reason you want to take a running jump is because, um, right here, there's a trap. Uh, that's three blocks long. It's kind of and it's kind of reminiscent to uh, Ridley's lair in the in a Metroid one. Hidden here, there's a save point. Though I just want to let you know, if you are inexperienced with wall jumps, I highly recommend you don't use that. All right, and then you got to go through this crap. Intentionally bomb jumps. Okay, now you see the uh, auto is uh, yellow there. Yeah, now that we've got a uh, hundred energy, we can um, we can uh, well, if we die, we'll be, we'll get a hundred free HP. Uh, 
Alright. What hit me? Alright, these things right here. These are tutorial animals. These little guys are going to teach you about wall jumping. Which, just a bit of a refresher on... No. Just a bit of a refresher. Refresher on how to do it. Refresher. Refresher on how to do it. Spin jump. Uh, pr press the opposite direction and a split second later press uh, A. Can be a little bit tough to do. And if you have to peer... Oh, uh, this is basically a way back to the, uh, to, uh, that place so you can have a second chance at that energy tank. But... You're, you want to go up here. And you can go up there. Um, now, we can get this now, but it's kind of tough. Basically, if you want to get this now, you're going to have to double tap, um, you're going to have to double tap, uh, down while you're in the air. Uh, by going it so going into into a morph ball form in midair. Though I'm personally not going to get this now, uh, because like I mean I I did not need to do that. I've uh, gotten it plenty of times that way, but now that I've actually 100 percent of this game, I think actually it's, that's actually I'm not how you were intended to get it. So um, when we get have the item that will that will let us. Uh, get it the intended way, I'm gonna come back here. Now let's head through the overgrown Brinstar. Alright, up. Uh, clear out these enemies before you would do, before you, um, do a running. Would you quit? Alright, break through that. Oh, break through that too. Alright. We also got this bird right here. We're gonna I'm gonna ignore it for now, but I'm gonna head here because we have an energy station. Yeah, that was so worth it. So this thing is going to teach you about uh, shine sparking. So I'm gonna wait for him to come back because I want to see if I can pull something off. Damn it! Oh, man, I was gonna see if I can try to get him stuck up here, but he doesn't. <laughs> Okay, um, now we're in here. Is there anything up here? I don't think there is. No, there isn't. Now, fortunately, the high jump is still not high enough to get that, uh, get that missile tank, so of course we're not going to go for it. But... We do have a yellow door right here. And we got these craps. And we have, uh... We have, um, a, do a door that's not even... We have a door that is, uh, inaccessible. So it seems like... They give us, they give you an item. They make you think you can come in here and do and get the thing that's in here. But, but come to find out, you need something else. And besides, you're not even supposed to wall jump up there. It's just a lot easier to do. Now, let me go to the place where I got the charge beam. There's a place for a power bomb right here, and we needed power bomb that you could just blow up one block. Yeah. In here, head down here. We have some water. Uh, is there anything even down here? I mean, there is something down here, but I'm wondering if we can get it yet. 
Yeah, we're in that one area that uh, looked like it was inaccessible. Is there anything in here at all? I didn't use a power bomb, but I guess it works. Well, yeah, we need the uh, speed booster, but unfortunately, you can't really speed boost too well. Uh, if you want to, however, you can um, use that ledge up there, and you can actually um, horizontally shine spark through that. So if you wanna, maybe you'd rather do that, you can. Of course, I'm not gonna do that because that's not how you were intended to get it. in here, with the Hydro Boost now we can get up here, which has another yellow door on it. Say, this looks familiar. We have another power bomb tank. And over here, power bomb symbol. We're back at the start of Metroid 1, so it's a bit of a shortcut if you wanted to uh, get that energy tank this way, which I probably actually should have done. Oh well, we don't need to anymore. Hydro boots, we can uh, get up here now, which gives us another missile tank. Cactus, cactus, no, long time no see. And check it out, we've looped around. Alright. Let's use a power bomb here. Oh. Yeah, that thing in there will always drop a power bomb pretty much no matter what. We go in here. Gotta know one of those dark rooms that have these uh, enemies that produce light. But if you just want to freeze them so you can get by, by them easily and not kill them, uh, you can do that. Fortunately, we do not have the necessary equi equip to uh, be able to get through here. Um, I think it's still technically possible to do, but um, I don't even care. But I'm but like but we don't sequence break. And we gotta use another power bomb. But we got a free one from that one enemy there. Alright. Down, 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 down. Uh this is a missile refill station, right? No, it's an energy. I can actually use that. There you go. Oh crap. Huh. 
Alright. Freeze them. Stop landing in the water. Alright, here we are in Meridia. Uh, that could be something you can do with the power bomb right here, but I'm not going to do it yet. I don't think there's anything we can do in Kraid's Lair. Yeah, I don't think there's anything there. Well, I mean, there is something there, but I don't think we can get it yet. Actually, no, we can't get it yet. All we can do is just see it's there. Unless you want to bomb jump to it. Okay, now that we have gotten all the collectibles that I wanted to get, now we're back in Norfair. And in here, we have the map. And wow, Norfair is pretty freaking big, and the boss is down there. I have a feeling I know what boss that is. Let's see, where do I want to go now? Um, that was a weird sound. I don't know, let's go, okay, let's go beyond the save point. Oh crap, hold on a second. Alright, sorry about that. I actually had uh had uh, some of my brother's friend friends come over and think and surprisingly they didn't want to play Super Smash Brothers Melee with me. Um Anyways, um, is this the way you want to go? Oh, wait, 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 yeah, I think I know where we're going. Uh, you can, uh, freeze the, uh, magmores now. I'm actually quite surprised you can freeze them. Alright. Here we go, this is the place we had to go, but we couldn't get to before. Alright. Now, we may go down here. There seems to be like a little area under this lava here, but we can't do anything about it. So, we won't do anything about it. Instead, we'll just head this way. And that is ahead of something rather ominous. Wait, what's this where you went to? Well, I guess I'm just foreshadowing then. Uh, wait. I went the wrong way, didn't I? Well, at the very least, I showed you, you where this was, so I think I'm actually just going to cut back to the main hub of Norfair. Okay, I'm an idiot. I, you think you're actually supposed to... Wait, 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 no, 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 I remember now. I remember now. This is a, this is a part of the game that always stumped me.
was in here you had to go, and then you had to blow up these uh, power bomb blocks. And here you go. I don't know why I forgot that this is where you're supposed to go, but... Oh well, every woman makes mistakes. Oh, I would just run ahead. Alright, down here, oh. Up there, uh, no, come on. Okay, well I was gonna show that there was a, mid a missile tank on the other side of the, on the other side of the wall there, but it's kind of hard to get. Uh, something you could do is you could freeze the enemies, uh, and, uh, jump up on them. It's kind of tough to do, but I can try to at least, uh, show what I'm talking about. Okay, no, I can't do it. Unless I... <sighs> okay. We'll get it later when... We'll get it later when we have another item. Oh, got red space pirates here. I think you're actually supposed to uh, dash through that. Uh, we had up here, we have Mr. Cactus. Here we have a save point. And we have lava. And there is nothing over here. But up there, there is that missile tank that we, uh, uh, oh, so could not get before. So what do you say we go ahead and get? Oh, wait, we can't get it. Right. <laughs> This game is a lot more in on showing you things that you can't possibly get yet. Metroid 1 certainly was not a lot like, not like that. In here... We actually have a bit of a grinding spot here. Actually up here first. Got more of these metal enemies that I have no idea how to kill. And we got some of the red space pirates. Actually, can we kill these guys with, uh, charge spin attacks? Oh, no you can't. In here is that one place that we could not get before. Of course, we're going to And head back. In here, we have an energy restoration system or energy recharge station. I don't know why I'm not calling it that. And here we have spikies. That's what that's what the spikies were called in Super Mario RPG. Now, if we get hit, we uh, go this way. Gonna get a bit of a refill here. There we go. Got through here. And. Open the screen door. We have a mini boss! This is Crocomire! What you want to do is, when his mouth is open, shoot him in the mouth with missiles or super missiles. Now, you might notice when we shot him, he actually moved back a little bit. Basically, what's going to happen is when you shoot him, uh, a normal missile will shoot him or will push him back a little. A super missile will push him back a lot. What you want to do is you just want to keep doing that. Shoot him in his mouth and make sure he doesn't go forward. 
Just keep pushing him back. That's what you want to do. Alright, got some acid down there. That's not lava, that's acid. Because... You push him back. And we get him all the way back. He plummets to his doom. And it's actually kind of gruesome. Like, you can see he's trying to get out. And his skin is melting. But... He was a bad guy. So it doesn't, doesn't really matter. But wait... The music is still subtly playing. <gasps> the fight's not over yet. Crocomire has come back from the dead. Wait. Uh, I guess not. His head will make a fine trophy. Nope, don't fall in there. That's actually the fastest I've ever beat him. Okay. And now, down here, oh, grinding spot. Here is a save point. They're everywhere, aren't they? Now we head down here. Uh, let's see, where are we going first? What's in here? Uh, nothing. So we're going down. And it's one way. Going here. We have rising acid. Let's just speed through. And we got another missile tank. I don't know about you, but I like that name, Crocomire. I feel like that would be a name, uh, given, like, a, an enemy in Donkey Kong. Like Donkey Kong Country. Alright. Here. We have some speed boost blocks, and we have some power bomb blocks. So, let's take a genius to figure out. I don't know what we gotta do. So what you wanna do is you wanna take a speed boost, and then jump! And now we're up here. She get takes us and our reward for beating Crocomire is a grappling beam, a new item in, in Super Metroid. So the grappling beam. Um, you might notice the, might have noticed these uh, plus oh plus sign blocks um, in the around the ZBs. All you gotta do is just switch to your grappling beam, and then you can swing on these. You can increase your momentum with the D-pad, and you can also open the open doors with it, and also you can attack with it, which is kind of funny. There are some times where you have to be moving when you, uh, when you, do, when you use it, though. And, let's jump up, aim up, and grab on, and grab onto it like that. And you can't somehow fight with it. Ow. Okay. Let's get out of the water. 
And let's swing out, swing away. And whoa! Now, these uh, doors cannot be opened any normal means. They're so rusty that you must use a super missile on them. But, um, I want to go back down. Because there is something else that I would like to get. that can be kind of tricky to do, and I would actually recommend doing a Shine Spark if you can. These uh, things right here, that you, you cannot freeze them. Instead, they're strictly grappling beam uh, targets. Okay. If this is kind of tricky to do, and I'm, I'm only going to try it uh, two more times. If I give up, then I'm just going to Shine Spark. Let's see. Wait, wait for it, wait for the right moment, and oh, uh, oh, damn, okay, well, one more time, nope, get out of the acid, it's draining our health a lot faster. I suppose Lava could have done the same thing to Brockmire, it's just like, just like Bowser in New Super Mario Brothers. God, why am I referencing Super Mario so much in this Let's Play? Why am I referencing Super Mario so much? Okay, considering I can't even make that second jump, I'm just gonna Shine Spark it. And hopefully I'll have enough health to do it, but then you gotta have the reserve tank. Alright. Alright. And there you go, like that. I think I... No, do I missed. Okay. Do that one more time, man. Nope! I didn't mean to do it horizontally. No! I'm not gonna have enough health to do this now. And that's certain that's not helping you. Alright. There you go. Oh. Uh, and yeah. But anyways, guys, uh that's pretty much all I want to do in this episode. Um, in the next episode of Metroid Prime, uh, by the way, uh, uh, Crocodile was not a, uh, big boss, he was only a mini boss, so that means, uh, next video will be a Kirby, will, uh, not be a Kirby's Adventure. Um, uh, ne next time on Super Metroid, I'm going to take you guys back to Brin- Oh, I gotta go around. I'm gonna take you guys back to Brinstar once again, and I'm going to, and I'm going to show you things you can do now that we have the grappling beam. Because we're actually pretty much done here in Norfair. Yeah, I forgot you have to, uh, do this. Oh! Funny, I forgot the good. Okay, see you guys next time. As always, remember to smile. You were the basic one collection of the nine game. Goodbye.